All right, this is your uber fast blender tutorial. A to select everything, X to delete everything, Shift A to add an object, Mesh, Cube, Tab into edit mode, S to scale, or in material mode as well, S to scale, R to rotate, uh, G to grab, G X to grab in the X axis, uh, rotate on the Z axis, G X X, rotate from the local axis, Q, or number pad period, to zo zoom out on the object, Tab into edit mode, select a face, O to bring up proportional editing. Scroll in and out on your mouse wheel to control the radius of effect. Select a face. I to inset. E to extrude. R to rotate. Uh, o to turn off editing. E to extrude. S to scale. Uh, G, X, X. Uh, G, C. Sorry. Uh, G, G. Move, slides it on the edge. Uh, yeah, slides it on the edge. GGC sl slides it on the edge but allows clamping. Uh, L is to select linked wherever your mouse is over. Uh, if you have the F2 add on, you can hold on, let me, you can select a vertex mode. You can EZ to extrude up on the Z, Z and F uh, with the F2 add on will allow you to um, fill these, F to fill uh, in general. I, Let's see, you can K to knife cut, and you can select these and enter, and you can K and then shift to get yourself to the exact center of this object. Um, cool. And you can uh, create, you can tab into edit mode, select some faces, uh, shift select P to separate by selection. Now you have two different objects. You can control J to join them. And now if you notice, you have some doubled vertices. If I select one, I don't select the other. How do I fix this? A to select everything, M to merge by distance. If I want to merge vertices in general, you can select two and then merge at first, at last, at center. Um, and then uh, you can control R to add a loop cut. You can scroll in and out to control the amount that you um, do that. You can. N to bring up this side panel, T to bring up this side panel, uh, and we can shift right click to move where our 3D cursor is, which can be useful when we're adding objects again. Um, we can also select an edge and then control B is to bevel, and you can scroll in and out. If you have a single point, you can do control shift B to bevel that single point, similar thing. Um, and then a, now, if we go to creating a uh, actual course, we shift A at a plane, shift A at a uh, curve. We on our plane we add a array modifier, and then a curve modifier. And you select that Bezier curve, and you increase the count, and then you can uh, G to grab this, R to rotate, go to top view here by this three D gizmo. Uh, e to extrude, R to rotate, you can control T to tilt, control T to tilt, alt S to scale, alt S to scale, and then you can also uh, shift, select, and fill, and then uh, you can uh, tab into edit mode, scale this on the X to make this um, yeah, follow it better, and you, you want to enable merge, that way you don't have to do it yourself. All right, and now how do you uh, get this to where you can actually work with it? You have to apply these modifiers. And then uh, now you want to texture this. So you're gonna go to this material panel. You're gonna get a new material. You're gonna have a new base image texture. Uh, and you select a, select something and it automatically unwraps it for you. If you want to manually do unwrapping yourself, you select a face and, or you can also alt click or shift right click or something along those lines to select the whole thing. But uh, you can control select to pick the shortest path. Uh, you, UU, uh, if you go over to the UV editing tab and switch this to solid mode with textures and flat, this is how you can see your textures uh, and you can scale in and out in your UV tab. And what you can do is you can say, this is already nice. So let's go and control select there. U F to follow active quads. And that works normally. You can also select all of these if we rotate them here. And then we U U 
which does this, and then we have a UV squares. We can two grid by shape, and you can scale it up and GY, S, SY, and you can type in numbers R90 um, up top, and you can see it's rotating by 90. Um, and that is Blender in however many seconds that was. Oh, and no, it's not. Uh, I'm not done yet because I need to show you uh, that you can how to create off road. You can go here and Control E, which offset edges and then extrude via an add on uh, ca called offset edges. And that is that. Is that.